Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So today I'm going to do a review uh, on this uh, Sun Force uh, triple head solar motion activated light. So I did the unboxing for this uh, light uh, last time. In case uh, you guys missed it, you could check on the link that's going to show uh, toward the end of this video. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, do this real quick. There are a couple of the problems that I ran into with the installation and then the swivel of the other two head on the sides and then on the motion uh, sensor or motion detect it says uh, up to uh, 30 feet but somehow when we tested uh, after the installation it seems like uh, we had to walk so close to the sensor, the motion sensor, in order to uh, for the lights to come on. So since I installed the one that I opened already, I had to open this uh, new one up. So as you see, the light could tell the downward or uh, you get folded more left and right. So you get shine it either your left and right direction and you, you could also uh, shine it upward, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, take this out again. Uh, make sure you guys uh, buy the brand new one because this has this uh, two clear uh, round tape, tape it around because uh, sometimes the customer return back to Costco and then Costco uh, put it back on, the, on their shelf and they didn't have those uh, two stickers so I didn't grab those so it comes with this uh, long uh, mounting uh, screwdriver and then the wall plug instruction manual So at night, this one has uh, like a super uh, bright uh, LEDs, which is uh, awesome. Everything uh, sh shines up uh, pretty nicely. The reason I want to go over uh, is about installation. Nobody ever talk about the installation on this uh, the solar uh, kit, okay? I because the reason I want to make this video to help you guys because I I installed this and then I encounter some of the problem or issues so that's why I want to go over this uh, real quick with you guys as you see this one has a uh, super uh, bright LEDs and there are some of them sell similar to this I think at Walmart for around the same price but they have uh, less LED so you gotta ha have to compare apple to apples not apple to oranges okay because uh, less LED is going to give you the less uh, brightness so this one uh, has uh, what, 180 LEDs which is uh, I test at night time it, it's a uh, pretty bright So when you want to mount this, uh, mount this on your wall or on your uh, some uh, your trim or whatever on the wood, you have to. Uh, it is uh, impossible for you to screw this while uh, mounting. As you can see right here, it's in the way. Okay, so you will need to take this apart. These uh, two screws, 
That's uh, on the back of the, this uh, solar panel. You gotta use uh, like a smaller fine uh, screwdriver head. Make sure you push in uh, really firm down and hard so you don't strip the screw head. So you gotta take it apart all the way out, okay? Make sure you don't lose the screws. And this is what it look like uh, inside. You wanna take out this uh, bolt joint right here. After you take it out, Then you can mount this on the wall, okay? However you want it. Either this way or this way. All right? Depends on your wood trim, whatever that look nicer, or however you want to tilt. So this one has like a teeth. So it allow you to adjust a uh, different angle and uh, so you could stay there uh, pretty uh, steady and stuff. But the, uh, so after you do the installation on, on the, to mount this on the wall or whatever, on your fence or on the trim of your uh, house, you want to go ahead and uh, put this back Okay. So we are not done yet because uh, I want to explain uh, this part right here as well. You don't want to tight it too much. So it will allow you to maneuver around first. Oh uh, well. You have to tie it just right so it allows some kind of movement for the bow joint. So you just had to tie just right enough. So you can adjust it. I think that's still too loose, so. Okay, yeah, that's uh, better. So this is a panel, the solar panel allow you to move 360 or different angle all the way around, up and down, or this way, like that. So you had to tilt it where the Suns uh, hit this uh, panel so you can charge up your battery uh, quickly. And this one you can rotate around too, okay? So my main focus is um, make sure you just tie it right enough. This is still uh, too loose, so... So imagine I uh, tied it so hard. It's not, it's not going to allow me to adjust different angle at all. So you cannot tie it too tight. So uh, brand new out of the box, it is pretty tight like that. So maybe that's why uh, I seen a couple of the, this unit got returned back to Costco because uh, people don't know how to install it because they think, at first I thought this was a pretty bad design because uh, I cannot get into the screws unless I rotate this around, but if I, Install this right next to the wall. This only allow me to uh, pan it a little bit, unless you have a long sc screwdriver uh, that is gonna go all the way down there like this. Okay, 
because it's like this, it's in the way, and then it's tilting an angle, and then you're gonna strip the screw head. All right. So that's that. Second thing I want to talk about, uh, talk about is uh, this. So if you want to tilt this like that down, you cannot. Okay. You have to open the left and right uh, head first, and then they. There you could tilt it further down, but up it doesn't matter, okay? I could tilt it all the way back like that. If you have a hallway or something that you need to shine the lights uh, to, or different angle on your yard or backyard, front yard, courtyard, whatever. And another thing about this uh, bracket, you had to remove this one, okay? You know, to remove it, you will need to unscrew those uh, two knobs on the side. You need to take it all the way. Make sure you don't lose this. Since this is uh, pretty heavy with the batteries and then uh, three heads, you want to remove the bracket all the way out first. All right. And then you want to mark your holes and then mount, um, mount those uh, two screws. So the, the screw head is going here first and then you slide it. And then there's a little notch right here. You will lock the screw into its place so it doesn't move around too much. Okay. So you have to remove this bracket, the U bracket, or the metal bracket, in order to uh, mount your uh, holes. And then after that, you will need to put this uh, into the the screw, the stud and then install it back see if you put it all the way angle like that this bracket is gonna hit the the back of the head so it's kinda pretty bad design actually you know So this is further as you could go up like that, or you can adjust it. Depends on the angle that you want. But sometimes if you tilt it down, this one, it cannot go up. So the sensor is, uh, you can go left and right. But if you go to the right, it's gonna hit this, uh, the power switch. So that's another flaw uh, design, okay? It's hitting it, so it can, it cannot turn all the way to to this side. Versus this side, you could, but uh, there's another problem is that you going to ins put the hole, I mean, plug in that solar panel plug right there, and it is the same problem or issue, okay? So again, you're gonna hit it. Versus uh, when you take it out, you can turn it all the way. So that's another problem with this uh, sensor, is that, uh, oh, so this one, you can tilt the backward in case you want a different angle, but the, the switch is on top now, so. So the problem with my sensor is that I had to walk kind of close. I think probably about uh, 12 feet in order for the lights to come on or even 10 feet. And I'm not sure I need to play with the setting. I, I set it on the highest already on the distance. It says a low, medium, or high. 
And this is opposite. I got to put on low. But that low is being closer. So I just play around the distance and then uh, let you guys know. And then another thing about this, uh, if you put on test, test mode, that means daytime or nighttime mode, the light is going to come on, which is uh, they uh, block out the ambient light. But if you change to the 30 second or 60 second or 120 second, the, those settings, only the, the motion sensor will trigger when you walk by when it's uh, pretty uh, dark, okay? In case your doesn't turn on, uh, you had to put on the te test mode. If you want to test out how far the distance or when you walk by if the lights uh, turns on or not, all right? So anyway, hopefully this uh, will help you guys on this uh, installation for this uh, light. And I would uh, go out there and record the two light that I installed already on my courtyard and then on my uh, near the side yard. Alright guys, anyway thank you for watching and uh, please uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and then uh, turn on the bell for notification or uh, drop any in the comments on below if you guys have any questions. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video guys. Like always, peace. Alright guys, so this is the courtyard uh, on the motion light sensor with the solar panel. So it's uh, shining in the f toward the front door. And there's one over here on the side yard.